Hello there everyone and welcome back to another Steve Rod Golf video. I am very excited to share with you our third of four courses that we are playing in our Hawaii vacation series. Today we are playing at the Pukalani Country Club on Maui. We have really good hopes for today after shooting a 74 at our previous course, uh, but even before we teed off, things started to go a little sour. All right, guys, so we are coming from the Pukalani Golf Club. They are adamant about times here. So I tried not to really film too suspectively on the first tee box, but from here on out, we'll try and play normal because we're only a twosome and we're stuck behind like four foursomes. So it looks like we got some spare time to work with. So it shouldn't be too much of a timing issue, but this place is pretty beautiful. Uh, seems so far like it's going to be a good round of golf today, uh, but we'll find out what happens next. As pace of play is an issue with this course, they have a rule that no party may share clubs. Which was annoying for our case because of travel purposes, we just used one bag and shoved in 16 clubs in there and shared them. Um, and every other course that we played on this trip didn't have that rule. So it did make me a little upset off the start and put me in a bad frame of mind. But realistically though, it was only $30 to rent the second set of clubs, a really clean set of tailor-made oh, M4s, by the way. Um, so it's an early reminder of vacation rule number four to keep it distraction-free. Anyway, the reason that we're playing this course is because I couldn't find much about it other than written reviews, so I figured I'd do the research for you. This course is a little tighter than the others that we played during our trip since it's built into a highly residential area. Even my tee shot on this second hole bounced off of a house and back into play. That being said, this course is a steal for the price. With a car, I only paid $39 a person for this round. For some of us, that's a pretty normal price, but on one of these islands, it's almost impossible to find a deal like this without a friend that's a Hawaii resident. As we set off on this third hole, this is where an already mentally challenging start gets worse. This par three has two greens and there's no warning about that at all, so we didn't know which one to play. We ended up picking the one that looked closest to the cart path, but it was a significant distraction when we wanted to make sure that we were keeping pace of play with the groups ahead of us. After shoving the tee shot right, we have our first lost ball of the day and wind up getting double bogey on this par three. All right, so we are through four holes so far. Um, I'm averaging bogey a hole. Ed is one worse than that. How do we uh, how do we turn this around, man? I don't know. Short game for me. Short game for me. I think it's just get out of my own head and hit the putts with some confidence instead of leaving them short. But uh, we'll have to just erase the last four holes from our memory and start out fresh. Play like a goalie. That's it. Let's do it. A golf legend once said, three bad shots and one good one still make par. And on this par five, four bad shots and one good one lead to a much needed par to spark some positive momentum.
This shot is one that I would be angry at other people for trying, but I'm gonna do it. Because I'm stupid. So I forgot to record that putt. I missed it. Two putts part. There it is. Would have been. Yeah. So I had to go and make a 140-yard uh, shot. Really challenging for myself by duffing it so badly. Um, we have a really tricky uphill chip now. Um, I'm not sure what to do here. It's been a while since I played a, a touch and go game with my gap wedge, so this is gonna be a fun one. As we close out the front nine, we reflect on some things that need work. Our driver is clearly an issue and put us in some rough positions leaving us to scramble. And today, our wedge game is just not there as it usually is. So as for chasing par today, we are far off the pace at the moment. If you want to see me really chase after good scores, check out my last video and subscribe to see our fourth Hawaii golf video at Kanapali Royal Golf Course. But getting back to the challenge at hand, our new objective on the back nine is just to have fun and try to break 40. <laughs> All right, so at this point, we are throwing away our notes for the day and just going to, instead of hit driver, because a lot of the notes, uh, they hinge on playing well with the driver, which I am not doing right now. I'm spraying it right, I'm spraying it left. I'd just rather, you know, keep the ball in play and do stuff that makes sense. So I'm just gonna switch it to three wood for now. Hopefully we can hit that a little better. If we can't hit it any better, then we'll go back to the driver in a couple of holes, but we'll see what happens. Since today's not going well already, we're gonna try to fade a nine iron, something that I have never done. <laughs> What I stated at the beginning of this hole may sound contradictory to our vacation rules, but please make no mistake. Rule three to make a plan is still super important if you're trying to score well on vacation. But sometimes things don't happen the way we imagine. So if the golf swing just isn't coming around, then remember the most important thing is to have fun. You're on vacation.
that the green, the center of the green, that misses the green, that might have been the best shot. Yeah. All right, forgot to record this shot. Bad positioning. Just a little punch out with a four iron back into the fairway. A little chunky. As we finish up this round, we've got some things to work on, like make sure to arrive at the range before you play to iron out the kinks, and don't let weird course rules get in your head, or remember to hit record on the camera. I hit an 8 iron to the green for my approach shot here. But after 18 holes on a beautiful day in Maui, there isn't too much I can complain about. After a rough start, we were able to keep the back 9 under 40 and finish with an 81. And this course is beautiful and challenging in ways that many other courses around here aren't. So if you're looking for the best value golf on Maui, look no further than Pukulani Country Club. It's worth every penny. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.